What up, people? Annie Tier here, Guild Forever, however you want to call me. Review for ReZero, episode 15, 16, 17, 18. Wow. A whole lot of mess, but it definitely was a lot better toward the end of episode 18 when Subaru and Rem had their little moment, even though Subaru fucked it up by choosing Amelia. Why? Why? Come on, bro. But here's the thing. Just because Subaru picked Amelia over Rem, which pisses me off, I don't I, I don't dislike his character. I still love his character. Facts. Because just because Subaru does not pick I'm just saying, once again, as I said in my review video. Not review reaction video. If you dislike Subaru simply because he picked Amelia over Rem, then that's a dumb reason to dislike someone, okay? Subaru is free to fall in love with, with whoever he wants to be with. Don't judge him for who he picks. Judge him for himself, his character. And I just gotta say, he is very relatable as a character and very human. Most main characters in anime are stupid, dense very power uh, power driven stuff like that most main characters are very easy to anticipate subaru is a very complex um driven character that's also he's driven by the force of trying to save the person he loves while at the same time saving the people that matter in his life he wants to save everyone despite the pain he goes through the trauma he goes through the death he goes through the complications he goes through he's still willing to put it a hundred percent every single time in order to save the people he cares about and it took this girl who has a huge crush on him once again best girl rem is best girl facts it took him this girl to bring him down from below the barrel back all the way up but not completely up starting all over from ground zero i gotta hand it i gotta hand it to the series they really know how to break down a character just to make him rise back up again just how just, i'm just saying one famous quote that i learned for example batman begins if you've whoever has seen this movie one main quote that always sticks by my mind and it makes me understand characters like Subaru. Know these words and imprint them in your head. Guys, why do we fall? Ask yourself that question. Why do us as people fall so we can learn to pick ourselves back up? Or so others can help us pick ourselves back up? Just because we fall every now and then, we shouldn't be judged for that. We should ju be judged by our positives on how we get back up despite the drama, despite the issues, despite the hardship. We get up every single time. Some people say, like, what about when they see your ugly side? Do you diminish someone when you see their ugly side? Of course not. If you truly care about someone, if someone really holds value in their life, you learn to take in the good with the bad, not just the good. Because if, if you can't accept the bad, then you can't accept them for who they are. Everyone has negatives in them. Everyone has bads in them. What's important is how you learn to accept them despite that. Look at Rem. Despite all the negative Subaru threw at her, she still stuck with him because she learned to accept his positives with his negatives. That is what it means to truly care and love someone. Despite how much they fall, you help them out through the most, in their most dire moment. That's what they call some, so that's, that's someone truly important. That's a friend. That's a lover. That's everything. So... For those of you that just straight up don't like him because of how he's treated Amelia, how he's acted here, how he pick Rem like this, everyone falls. Everyone has their downs. What's important is to make it through those downs with them. Because if you can't accept them through their downs, then you have no right to judge a human being. Because you have no you have no under you have no understanding of a human being then. Every human being comes with their falls, fault flaws. Every human being comes with their positives. If you can't accept the positive, if you can't accept the flaws with the positives, you have no room to judge. This is a fact. 
And I will have to admit, Rim is is an exceptional example of a perfect, not perfect, but of a beautiful person. Even though she ain't completely a human being. She's a demon, an ogre. Yet she's more human than most of the humans I've seen in the world. Like, golly. Rim, best person, best girl, waifu, all that good stuff. I'm just saying. So, Subaru, a prime example of a good person that's fallen, but rises back up again because there are people in his life that have too much faith in him, that he has no room to to be to be uh, hindered by doubt, to be hindered by the world. And I'm just saying, I like for you to go through all this, still not break down despite being screwed over by all the candidates. And remember, you'll be like, well, me, well, I wouldn't handle his situation selfish. Selfishly, has when has this man ever been selfish? He's trying to do an unselfish thing by saving Amelia, saving the villagers, getting rid of the bastards that killed them. This is, this he while he literally could like not give a fudge and just turn the blind eye. Which I know dozens of you would have done. But him. He went through all this hardship. And he still doesn't give up. He still wants to save them. Despite the pain and the deaths. He is willing to fight the odds. Just to save a girl. Just to save kids. Just to save a village. Just to ensure these little ogres lives are secured. How is that not a hero? If anything, just because you see a hero's negative side, he's... A hero is still a living being. No one is perfect. A perfect hero is a boring hero. A perfect hero does not exist. A hero that shows struggle, strive, independence, trying to go through the odds. Even though he falls, he gets back up. That is a meaning of a true hero. And if you can't accept that, then you're very, you have unrealistic standards. You're, you're just saying, oh, because he, he broke down. He broke down. Human nature, we break down in times of crisis. And this is, in fact, a huge crisis. A massive and unwinnable crisis. And you're judging him for this. Once again, you have unrealistic expectations. You have incredible opinions. Be realistic about the situation, for Christ's sake. Stop being, how can I say, stop kissing Amelia's butt just because you like her. That's being biased. That's being biased. I don't, I, remember, this is coming from a guy that liked Amelia before, but my opinion changed on her, changed on it, because of how dumb and stupid she really is. She's trying to help, Subaru's trying to help her, and she's saying, I don't understand. She's like, why can't you tell me? Think, woman, think! Why can't he tell you? Because he can't tell you. So in other words, if you really are his friend, Take his words to heart and listen to him. If he is someone of importance in your life, take his word for granted and listen. Get out of there, have your life saved, and be like, thank you for saving me again. Like, let's be a realistic, guys. If your friend was going through this dramatic stuff, you even see he's losing it. He's acting stressed. He's hurt. He's wounded. He's mentally ill. And he's trying to tell you for so many times that something bad is going to happen to you. He's worried that something like legit, your life is in danger. If he's warning you, and if he's acting like this, and all he's telling you is, come with me, I'll take you somewhere safe. You're in good hands. And... Everyone here is come like if he's trying to save your life and he's your friend. He's he's not a random stranger. He's someone you learn you've 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 been friends with for some times and he saved your life. 
would it would you honestly question his motives would you be so dumb as to not see what's going on in front of you come on you guys can't you no one is that stupid like be realistic here come on now anyway i guess enough of my review slash ranting uh let's get to the questions of of, of these episodes Okay, let me see. Out of all these situations where Subaru died three times, legit three times, he died three times, would you have broken down these three times? And if you didn't, you are a damn liar. But I'll hear your explanations. But if you did, where? And why? And what caused your brain to trigger a dramatic response? Be honest. Don't be a faker. Come on. We all know we would have broken down. Facts. Question two. Amelia or Rim? Rim shipper right here. I'm sorry, Rim is best girl. Who is your best girl? Once again. Let me know in the comment section below. But be polite. I don't have to emphasize it enough that I'm tired of people taking this so negatively. No negative responses. Be courteous. Do not be rude. If you are rude, your comment will be deleted. Depending how rude you are, you will, your comment will be deleted and you will be blocked, preventing you from commenting. So if you don't want that, don't be a douche. Think before you act. I. All right, then, guys, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, sub the behind already. Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys. That's my good man. So I'll see you guys all in future reactions. Peace. Ram shipper all the way.